Powder actuated systems are extremely safe when used properly. They can perform safe and reliable fastenings in concrete and steel over a wide variety of applications, offering a contractor increased productivity and cost savings. First and foremost, you want to be sure that you and anyone in the immediate area are always wearing proper safety protection when using a powder actuated tool. This includes approved safety glasses with side shields, hearing protection, a hard hat, and gloves are recommended as well. You want to make sure that everyone in the area knows you're using a powder or gas actuated tool. Now one thing you can do is cord off the area where you're working or post signage that says you're using a powder or gas actuated tool. If you're making fastenings to a wall, make sure you check the other side of that wall to be sure no one's there where you're making the fastening. You'll also want to check with local requirements to be sure there are no rules or guidelines that you need to follow with your specific tools. The key is to create a safe work environment for you and those around you. All Hilti powder actuated tools have several safety features built into the tool to prevent accidental firing. To operate a Hilti powder actuated tool, you must perform two steps in sequence. First, compress the tool against a firm work surface, then pull the trigger. If you don't follow the sequence each time, the tool will not fire. So this means you can't just pull the trigger and fire it, you know, like a gun. It also means you can't bump fire the tool. That is, pull the trigger and then press or bump the tool against a firm surface in order to fire it. Remember, the sequence is to always compress the tool against a firm surface first and then pull the trigger. There's also a drop fire safety built into the tool. This means that the tool will not fire when dropped from 10 feet or less. One last thing, let's not forget the importance of the low velocity piston principle which all Hilti powder actuated tools use. Back in the day before low velocity piston type tools were on the market, you would load a nail and a cartridge together. In this situation, 100% of the cartridge energy acted on the fastener. The speed of the fastener could exceed 1000 feet per second. The low velocity is a system where a drive piston is placed between the cartridge and the fastener. When the cartridge is fired, the piston drives the nail into the work surface. Because 95% of the cartridge energy is in the piston, the operator and others around are safeguarded against the possibility of too heavy a load and too short a nail in a soft base material. This helps prevent a free flight of the fastener. So powdered tools are built to be safe and reliable, but they have to be used properly. Remember to always wear approved safety glasses, hearing protection, on a hard hat when using powder actuated systems. When firing, you should use two hands on the tool whenever possible for better control. Bend your elbows and don't stiff arm the tool. There is some recoil when using a powder actuated tool and bending your arms helps to reduce the impact from the recoil. Always load a fastener before inserting a cartridge strip. This way you avoid loading a nail on a live round. Always use a stabilizer with the tool whenever possible to provide added stability. This will ensure that the tool is always perpendicular to the work surface. Don't ever point the tool at you or anyone else, especially when it's loaded with a nail and a cartridge. Okay, let's get to work. All right. 